Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with a brand new release. 2019 Topps High Tech Baseball. This is Pick Your Team number two. Big thanks to all of these folks right here for getting into the action. Really appreciate it. No Marlins. If there are any numbered Marlins cards that happen to pop out, I'll, uh, I'll randomize it to one person in the break. How about that? All right, there was also, oh, also, if you have, see that little rooftop next to your name, there was a team random. You won those teams. There was also a random number block randomizer right here, too. And there are the results of that. For just for those teams, number block just for those teams, just in this break right here. And Juan, you'll get any non-numbered cards for those teams right up there. So there you go. There's that. All right, well, let's pop this case open. Let's see what we got. Now they switched up the configuration this year. So we got kind of a wider box. We've got three autos per box, three packs per box, which I think is pretty cool. Good luck, everybody. Oh, we got kind of got these little mini boxes in here too. I kind of like that. Little mini boxes. And um, all card ship in this, ladies and gentlemen. All card ship. A lot of a uh, lot of set building, parallel hunting, and this sort of stuff. So I want everyone to be able to get their hands on it. All right. Pack number one. This is Garrett Cole, and our first autograph is Newman, rookie auto Ryan Newman. I think Pirates are a number block team, and this is not numbered. So that goes to Juan. All right, I don't see a number here. There you go. Nice. And we've got this guy here, the nice little blue parallel, Brian Anderson. So we'll put that in the Marlins pile. And there's Sal Perez, number top right, 120 out of 150 for the Royals. That'll go to Anthony. Sixteen out of twenty-five for the White Sox. We've got Michael Kopech, and the autograph is Kyle Schorber. Eleven out of ninety-nine. Kyle Schorber. That goes to the Cubs. Number block. So we'll go by one right there, and that's for Juan as well. Juan got randomized number one. It's got two-thirds of the box. Nice David Ortiz. It's Christian Yelich, 36 out of 99 for the Brewers. That'll go to Charles. And one more autograph. And there's Byron Buxton for the Twins. Twins are also a random number block team. And it's not numbered. Another one for Juan. And there's Ronald Acuna Jr., 37 out of 50 for the Braves. Did Juan sweep the autographs in this box? I think he did. Nice. So personal box. Personal box for Juan. There you go. Organize myself a little bit here. All right. Nice start. Next box. <laughs> Let's grab like a 
little sticker right there. Kind of like a, it's like a three box museum collection kind of vibe. We've got more in the store, ladies and gentlemen, so go and get it. So anything you think that is the best spot because a lot of these autos are non-numbered. All right, there you go. All right. Next up, leading off is Aaron Judge. And behind Todd Helton is another Kyle Schorber, non-numbered. Another one for Juan in the non-numbered spot for the Cubs. I like the design this year. It looks, uh, I don't know, it looks, looks really clean this year. There you go. Out of 150, there's Yachty. That's for Aaron and the Cardinals. Behind Aaron Nola is Anthony Rizzo, 29 out of 75, Cubs number block. Chris Rendon with the number nine. Nice Anthony Rizzo. They've got a new coach. And they've got, uh, I don't know, maybe a new outlook on, on baseball. Let's see what they do. Maybe make some big moves in the offseason. 70 out of 99. Manny Machado for the Padres. Mary with the Friars. No, I won't, Obi-Wan. I'll try not to continue. I'll try not to jinx you there. They're bringing back these old uniforms. Padres. And Jose Martinez for the Cardinals. That'll be for Aaron Pettit. That's a spot that he won from our team random. Nice Jose Martinez. Right there. I think that was our first autograph that was not a number block autograph. There's Brandon Crawford. They got Gabe Kapler as their coach. And there's Jose Altuve to 75 for the Astros. That'll be a number block team right there. I think all, all of these are not number block teams. Yeah, these are all not number block teams. All right. Next box. What are we looking at for pick your team? Number is pick your team number three up already? Yeah, Pick Your Team 3 has 21 teams left, and they're all available straight up. There's no number blocks, no team randoms, or anything like that. So my advice to you is uh, if you see your team, go get your team before they're popped into a team random or a number block. So there's the link in the chat right there. If you're watching it, and you're not in this break. You're like, hey, I want to get in. There you go. The link is in the chat. Click that link. Go to jaskyscasebreaks.com. Pick up your teams, and let's make it happen. Um, what are we? What awards are being given away today, ladies and gentlemen? Rookie of the year is out, obviously. Manager of the year yesterday. Ooh, Cy Young. Cy Young awards being named. Who does everyone have for the Cy Young? Both leagues. Ronald Acuna Jr. And there's Carter Keeboom, a World Series champion. Rookie auto for the Nats. That'll be for Evan. Cooper says DeGrom for the NL. I'm trying to look up the... Uh, trying to look for the uh, finalists. 
So in the NL, it's DeGrom, Hyunjin Ryu, and Max Scherzer. And Garrett Cole, I think, are your... No, Garrett Cole's in the AL. And then Garrett Cole, Justin Verlander, and Charlie Morton for the Rays. There's Aaron Nola to 150. That's for James and the Phillies. Anthony also says Bonilla and Cole for the AL. There's Ichiro, 24 out of 50 for the M's. Uh, that will be for Aaron. And the autograph is Merrill Kelly, 4 out of 99 for the Diamondbacks. That goes to Corey, who won that spot. I think, obviously, I'm biased. I want to go with Hyunjin Ryu for NL Cy Young. Or maybe I don't. Maybe, maybe Hyunjin Ryu would be too, uh, too expensive. He's a free agent. Garrett Cole I'd go for, except he plays on... Um, on a suspect organization. There's Cedric Mullins, 21 out of 99 for the Orioles, Mary Lou. So does Verlander. So I guess I'm going for <laughs> going for Charlie Morton. There's Miguel Andujar. Yankees. That'll be for Aaron Pettit, who, uh, who won that spot in a team random. Nice one, Aaron. He should be back healthy next season. There's Rick Anderson, the man of steel. All right, next box. Anyone else any, have any predictions on Cy Young Award winners? Who should be a Met, Anthony? Oh, Miguel Andujar? Yeah, I was going to say, I feel like the Yankees are kind of loaded at, with a lot of uh, a lot of infielders, I feel like. And outfielders, I guess they they got a lot. They got a, they got a surplus. All right, there's George Brett, and there's Lane Thomas, rookie auto. For the Cardinals, that will be for Aaron Pettit. Anthony's thinking we should have traded Thor for him. Should have traded Thor for him. There's J.D. Martinez, 30 out of 150 for the Red Sox. That'll be for a number, that's a number block. I'll go to zero, Danny, with that one. There's Taylor Ward for the Angels. Rookie auto for the Angels, not numbered. That will be for Juan. Another autograph for him. Um, how do Mets fans feel about Carlos Beltran as the new manager? There's Albert Pujols. That'll go to number four. Aaron Pettit with that one. And nice Edgar Martinez. 13 out of 25. Nice orange parallel. Aaron Tooley, who picked up the M's straight up. Anthony, you're not happy with it? It seemed like a curious hire. I mean... But nice Edgar Martinez, Aaron. Yeah, the Carlos Beltran seemed like a, like a curious hire, I thought. And mixed reactions out there in New York City. This is reporting Anthony. I think it would make sense if now I don't know what the the Mets are doing like in terms of analytics. But maybe it makes sense if they're making more of a big analytical push 
and then they want like a, a respected former player to to sort of be able to just manage egos and and deliver the the message of the analytics better and then so you kind of have like a you manage by feel slash work in the analytics you know which may or may not be Beltran strong suit I have no idea but but uh, I don't know I th I personally thought that the that the Mets would go for a more I guess established sort of manager you know they've got some they've got some young players you know kind of shepherd them through all right, there's Roberto Alomar. There's Darwinzon Hernandez, rookie auto for the Red Sox. That'll be a number block team, non-numbered, so another one for one. You feel like the packaging a little overkill, Jimmy? A little bit. I, th I, I was surprised. I thought it was going to be... Um, the, the the usual size of high tech but then three just three packs stacked on top of each other but we got we got mini boxes out of here but I do like that it's one autograph per mini box there's Framber Valdez rookie auto for the cheaters that goes to number block Astros Juan with that one there's Yasiel Puig in his Cleveland gear I think Yasiel is a free agent too. They're sore. We we're just talking about him. 99 out of 150. That's for Richard Zitterman who picked up the Mets straight up. Yeah, that's right, kid card. Astros, bunch of cheaters. Cheating and that executive that got fired for his comments. There's that. There's Miguel Cabrera. You don't see a lot of Miggy autographs. Anthony Bonilla. There you go. Anthony, who won the Tigers in a team random. That's out of 50. They seem to be pretty acceptable of Ulyssky Gurriel's actions in the World Series. That's the kind of organization they're about. That goes into the Marlins pile. Where's my Marlins? I have a, don't I have a Marlins pile? Anyway, this will represent the Marlins pile. <laughs> I'll randomize that and other Marlins cards to one person in the break. Yeah, Miguel Cabrera is great. It's a sort of a shame, Anthony, that he's sort of slipped in the last couple of years. So he's just getting older. And I feel like, I don't know, I feel like uh, maybe kids who are like in middle school or something like that may not, may not know of the, of just how incredible that guy was on the, on, on, on the diamond. You think he still has a few seasons left on his contract? We've talked about this before. Do we think he could get 3,000 hits, Miguel Cabrera? Miguel Cabrera is at currently at 2,815 hits, so a little under 200 hits away from 3000 and he still he still has one two three four five seasons left on his contract oh that's a brutal contract he's getting paid over 30 million dollars a year for the next five until he's 42 years old until 2025 so he's got to get it right i don't think he's gonna retire anytime soon even if he has to grind out 50 hits a season or something like that but he should be able to get it well, he actually was pseudo healthy this year, and he he knocked in 139 hits this season. Actually, he's actually pretty good, hitting 280, 139 hits. Power is way down, but but if he kind of just sort of turns himself into a different kind of hitter, still had 21 doubles. If he turns himself into a slightly different hitter, another 100 hits next year. I mean, he might if he has if he just starts the season lights out he might even get it next year. Uh, Nineteen out of seventy-five. Carter Keboom, Evan with the Nationals. 
World Series champs. Worst contract, yeah, the Miguel Cabrera. Worst contract in baseball. Worse than Albert Pujols. The Pujols contract was pretty rough too. And we got Keston Hira, nice. Brewers, Charles, who got the Brewers straight up. Gets a Brewers rookie sensation, Keston Hira. Nice, not numbered. I mean, these look really good. I like, the, I like how cleaned up the designs are this year. 52 out of 150, Jorge Alfaro. That's another one for the Marlins pile. And Jose Canseco, Blue Jays edition. Remember Jose Canseco on the Blue Jays? That goes to Richard Zitterman and the Bluebirds. Nice. Oh, you, you think, uh, what's up, Matt Gomes? What's going on? You think, you think Miguel Cabrera will have a bounce back here? I think so. I mean, if he's got another, like, five years on his contract, there's got to be like one year where he just turns back the clock and and just puts together a, just one more healthy season just to remind people of of, of, of who he once was. I, th I think he's, he's capable of doing that. I want to see that 3,000 hits, though. That's a pretty impressive accomplishment. There's Charles, yeah, saying yes to the uh, Keston. Nice. Ooh. Sean Corbett going on a uh, on a limb saying you think Harper's contract may go down as worse than both both uh, Albert Pujols and Miguel Cabrera. Interesting. It's possible. It's, it's certainly a contract that that kind of harkens back to the old days. Big ten year contracts, all guaranteed, no opt outs or anything like that. Yes, Matt Gomes, this is Pick Your Team 2. Pick Your Team 1, Jason did earlier today. Just before I went on air. So yeah, that video is up. Josh, what's going on? Josh Plemons in the house as well. There's Yusai. And Yankees, Tiara Estrada. Rookie autograph for the Bronx Bombers. That will be for Aaron Pettit, who won at that spot. Trevor Story to 150 for the Rockies. Shane with the Rocks. Also, Matt Gomes, don't don't chat and drive. Don't chat and drive. Kevin Newman, 40 out of 75. Well, I hope so, Matt. If I'm uh, if I'm not pulling your hits, someone else is, might as well pull your hits. I'm okay with that. So that's 40. Out of 75, Kevin Newman, that goes to zero. Pirates zero. Danny Connell on the board. Or I think, no, maybe he had one other autograph. I don't know. But anyway, you get that Kevin Newman. It's Corey Seager. And there's Danny Jansen for the Bluebird. 68 out of 99. Oh, I got one more stack here. Can't forget about you. There's DJ Stewart. Rookie autograph. Trey Mancini, two out of 50. Another, so a couple of Orioles for Mary, uh, who got the Orioles in a team random. And that's Trey Mancini, two out of 50. How do number blocks work? Easy. Kid card, easy. So you get randomized a number, right? And in this particular case, this, these numbers, block of numbers, only apply to those teams right there and only for pick your team too. So we go by this, the number that's directly to the left of the slash right there. Right? So that goes to zero. So that goes to Danny, who got randomized zero. So Danny would also get, he gets 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90 out of whatever. 100, 110, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. 
Now, since there's no zero, there's no card numbered zero out of whatever, he also gets any redemptions for those teams too. Easy. So a lot of times we'll, we'll pull out teams and do number blocks for those specific teams just as kind of a, a basically a filler just to make it a, just to help move things along. Yeah, two, I don't know, are there cards numbered to 210? I guess so, because there, there are parallels numbered to 150. If there, if there are parallels numbered to 200, I guess he would get 210 out of whatever. 200 out of whatever. High risk, high reward? I'd say low risk. Because you're only paying a fraction of the price and you're involved for multi with multiple teams. Medium risk, high reward. Daniel thinks what, Bobby Bonilla's contract was the worst? I don't think it is. I mean, he's only getting... What is he getting? Like a, like an, an additional million a year? I mean, with the way contracts are these days, it seems like a bargain for Bobby Bonilla. There's John Duplantier. This guy could be a big name next year, Corey. Diamondbacks. Could be a closer. Could be stretched out to be a starter. I'm not sure what the Diamondbacks have planned for him. But he's got a live arm. And there's Pedro Martinez, 23. Out of 25, Boston Red Sox, three. Mark Matheson with that one. There's Paul DeYoung for the Cardinals. Nice one for the Redbirds. That'll be for Aaron Pettit. And there's Jeff Bagwell, 57 out of 150 for the Astros. That'll be for Thomas R., with Astros, with Houston, the seven. There's Byron Buxton, 59 out of 75 for the Twins. Twins are a number block team. And that goes to Chris Randone with the number nine. Nice. I think the high numbers with a couple, couple hits there. We got Aaron Judge. Where's that number there? 31 out of 75. Uh, no, I think they moved Flawless to the 20th. Logan. I know Immaculate is still on track. But Blowout has Flawless as the Flawless Baseball as the 20th, so next Wednesday. Well, we're gonna, we'll, we'll change the dates on the uh, on jazbeescasebreaks.com. they push I wonder why they push it back like a I think I think they made I think this usually if they push it back to to secure more assets I feel like they would push it back a couple of weeks this seems like they just didn't want to release it on the same day as immaculate football which is still on track for this Friday maybe that maybe they want to spread those out that seems that's my guess anyway No, football is still on track for Friday. I think we're still good there. And that's like that's the only that's the only big release of the Friday. So I think that's I think we should be good there, Sean. Ooh, Vlad Guerrero Jr. five out of twenty five. That's a great hit. For Richard Z, Richard Zitterman got the Blue Jays straight up. That's 
That's pretty strong right there. Ding. There it is. It's a good one. You get that Rowdy Tellez as well to 75. Richard. You get the Thomas Pannon as well, rookie auto. Vlad's teammate. Max Muncy, and there's Trevor Story. Next autograph is going to be Bren Lau, rookie autograph. I think he was a AL Rookie of the Year finalist. I feel like if he didn't miss like a month with injury, I feel like he would have been able to make a stronger showing in that Rookie of the Year race there. There's Buster Posey to 150 for the Giants. 23 out of 150, so that goes to San Francisco 3. That'll be for Mark Matheson. A few boxes to go, ladies and gentlemen. It'll go for tens of dollars, says Logan. How many tens of dollars? Could be worth... Uh, could be worth grading it, I think. Now, out of 25 is usually resell pretty well. Maybe if he uh, I don't know. Maybe if he if he has a strong season, maybe this might be a keeper. Hold on to that Vlad Jr. autograph until early next season. Hope that he starts off the season strong. Hey, hey, that food over there is not for you. You think it is, but it's not. Those chili cheese fries are not for you, Bubba. Are you going to try to jump over? Watch this. I'm going to close the door. See? I mean, you can run around here, but guess what? You won't be able to get out. Yeah, you, uh, yeah, I don't want, I don't want, I don't want the pug to get into those chili cheese right. There's Tino Martinez, old Tino Martinez for the Yankees. Aaron Pettit with the Bronx Bombers. Yelich and Carlos Correa, and there is Rowdy Tellez, another Blue Jay autograph for Richard. Chris Archer to 150. That's for the Pirates. That's a number block. 27 out of 150. That'll go to Thomas. There's Roger Clemens, Astros edition. 38 out of 50. And that will be for Houston 8, Anthony Bonilla. Nice one, Anthony. Got the Rocket. And there's Mike Trout, 8 out of 75. That's Angels, 8. Another one for Anthony. Oh, man. Logan and Charles' dogs are barking because they hear Bubba. Come on. Can't they tell the difference? It's coming through speakers. Come on, dogs. Bubba does that too. For watching TV, and there's like dogs on TV. He's sleeping, and all of a sudden his ears perk up. He's like, "What? Dogs?" And it's like, "No, that's the TV, dude." Sean says one of your dogs keeps hearing Bubba. <laughs> Comes over to the desk to inspect. Are you hiding another dog here, Sean? <laughs> He's like, "Dad, are you hiding another dog here? Is there another dog in the house?" All right, two boxes to go, six autographs to go. I kind of like the, I like that three autograph format here. I'm okay with that three autograph format. Got some nice autographs popping here too. 
There's a uh, wow. Speaking of nice autographs, 41 out of 50 Juan Soto. Nice Juan Soto autograph for Evan and the Nationals. Did you really? Nice. Well, this is like we've got some sort of different parallel on this one too. Nice. That, that's a good looking one right there, Evan. Now, World Series champ already. He's only 21 years old. Man. Out of 150, Mariano Rivera. The guys that spend their entire careers chasing that ring. There's Lance McCullers Jr. for the Astros. That's non number. That'll go to Juan. There's Walker Bueller, Roberto Alomar for the Orioles, Orioles edition for Mary. This is pretty cool right here. What do we got? We've got 86 out of 99. Celebrate tech. Celebrating. For the Mets, Richard with the Mets. I, 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 I will, John, but I, I don't want to overdo it. 41 out of 99. That's what they're about. Don't forget Uliski Gurriel in the World Series a couple years ago, John. It's 41 out of 99, Johnny Damon, Yankees. Don't forget about the executive that was recently fired for his actions. That's just the kind of organization the, Ast the Houston Astros are these days. David Ortiz, 54 out of 75, Red Sox. Aaron with uh, number four. They did, John Samuelson. Take the high road on that one. Take the high road on that one. I don't know if the Dodgers are the perfect organization. I don't think any. I wonder if any organization is is perfect. Every organization has skeletons, right? You can't gloat too much. Last one, but the low road has all the good bars, Sistro. Last three autograph. Pick your team two, ladies and gentlemen. Coming up after this will be a quick four-box basketball mixer. That's filled up. And we'll give away a spot in that triple-double basketball mixer. That's the $400 mixer. Let's get some hoops done tonight, too. That's all. We've got a couple basketball brand new releases. Certified basketball just dropped today. Um, and Flawless Collegiate Basketball dropped today. Both of those are Zion editions. And, of course, we can do more Topps High Tech Baseball, uh, which just did get popped into a team random. So we got a team random, we got a number block, and then we have one team left straight up for Pick Your Team 3, ladies and gentlemen. There's Patrick Corbin, World Series champion. Evan with the Nationals. Now, now Bubba's looking out the window and trying to get other dogs' attention that are outside. There's Danny Jansen to 99 for the Blue Jays. 49 out of 99. Kind of hard to get the reflection there or the focus there. These are one of those cards. These, this is the type of set where I mean, it looks good. We've, we've got pretty decent production quality here. There's Lance McCullers Jr. Um, we've got pretty strong production quality here, I'd like to say. But this kind of stuff, the acetate stuff, definitely looks a lot better in person. That's for the Astros, non-numbered, going to Juan. There you go. There's Manny Machado for the Friars. Mary got the Padres, 33 out of 50 on that one. And the last autograph is going to be, well, there's Celebrate Tech, Kyle Schwarber, 24 out of 99. 
That'll go to Aaron Pettit. And Chicago Cubs four. Last autograph is Carlos Carrasco, 68 out of 99. Kind of a scary season for him. With the uh, like, like a some kind of strain of leukemia or something like that, some blood blood thing, pretty scary. But hopefully he'll be back healthy next year for the tribe. That's gonna go to Mary, who got the Indians in the team random. There's Miguel Andujar, 49 out of 150 for the Yankees, and the last blue parallel here is Jose Abreu and the White Sox. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. These two cards will represent all of the Marlins cards, so one person is going to get all of those Marlins cards. Let's go back to the list. Hmm, how am I going to do this? Well, let's do this by team. And if it ends up, and I'll take out the Marlins, if it ends up being a number block team, then I'll randomize the names in the number block. So there could be sort of an inception type thing happening here. All right, so let's roll it and randomize it two and a one three times. Team on top gets it one, two, and a one three times. Two and a one three, and the team on top is going to be the Reds, who are not a number block team. Jonathan Spears picked up the Reds straight up. So there you go, Jonathan. Watch this. Bam. Bam. You've got the Marlins as well. So you'll get whatever Marlins cards. I think there were these two numbered cards, and then maybe there were some non-numbered cards in there as well. So you'll get, some, you'll get that stuff. All right. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. This is Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com, and we'll see you for the next one. Bye-bye.